Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And if you haven't been following the Twitch drama that's been going on over the past few days with some big time Twitch streamers, I'm going to be real with you, it's fucked. That's the only way to describe it. It's filth. It's pretty messed up. There's some really bizarro and fucked up shit going on. But one thing that has resulted from all this is Twitch is banning gambling sites, including uh, Stake and more following streamer Backlash. So Twitch has officially banned referral links to gambling after months of controversy and campaigns from the Amazon-owned platform to do something about gambling streams. So gambling streams have been a major point of contention for the Twitch community with streamers such as XQC and Trainwreck making a lot of money through sponsorship with slots websites. Yeah, they're involved with the drama. However, the drama reached the boiling point when Twitch streamer Slicker, now this dude, this Slicker dude, He's kind of the catalyst of this whole shit show saga from beginning. So he admitted to asking fans and fellow streamers for loans in the thousands, like hundreds of thousands, to gamble with without paying them back. After the likes of Pokemon and others called for the platform to ban gambling, Twitch has stepped up. While it's not fully banning gambling streams, action has been taken. So this is what they said. Gambling content on Twitch has been a big topic of discussion in the community and something we've been actively reviewing since our last policy update in this area. Today we want to update you on our plans. While we prohibit sharing links or referral codes to all sites including slots, rollout, dice games, we've seen some people circumvent those rules and expose our community to potential harm. So right there, that's ironic when you think of some of the other shit that's on Twitch. You're like, well, what about that? What about that girl that had sex on stream? What about her, you know, seven day ban for being fucked on stream? So we'll be making a policy update on October 18th to prohibit streaming of gambling sites that include slots, roulette, dice games that aren't licensed in either the US or other jurisdictions um, that provide sufficient consumer protection. These sites will include stake.com, rollbit.com, dualbits.com, rubit.com. However, we may identify others as we move forward. We'll continue to allow websites that focus on sports betting, fantasy sports, and poker. We'll share specifics on the updates on our gambling policy soon, including the full policy language to make everyone is clear on the rules before they take effect on October 18th. So off note, Slicker, Robert, Dillitz and Robot have all been banned on Twitch, says the other sites can be added to the list in the future. So you've got a whole bunch of people like Pokimane, who honestly I think is responsible for a lot of problems on Twitch as well, and has highlighted some hypocrisy in her favor as well. Uh, but then you talk about like all this stuff that's going on and go, well, what about this type of stuff that's on Twitch? And we're talking about um, being harmful and all types of stuff. It's an absolute crazy situation that came from these Twitch streamers just having this huge drama spill over. And like I said, it's pretty messed up some of the things that are going on with these people. But it has resulted in Twitch banning some gambling on the website. So what do you guys make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com and I'll see you all in the next video.